Hello. Hello. Hey, hey. Hey, folks. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Goner 2 launch stream. My name is Liam. I am behind the screen this time, so you won't actually see me, uh, except there is a, a cardboard cutout of me, which will appear on occasion. Uh, it's my new haircut. Hope you like. And in front of the camera today are two gentlemen. Mr. Rasmus, QA producer, legendary Goner 2 player, has never died in Goner 2. <laughs> He's never died. And we're going to see on stream today if he is going to die. <laughs> on his right and our left, this is very confusing, is Timothy Busby, QA hey, producer, hey. legendary, has died in Goner 2. Many times. Many times. <laughs> so we'll see if, uh, if the two can co-op their way through a chaotic world <laughs> of Goner. And on us, on us, with us, online, is none other than... Mr. Ditto himself, creator of <laughs> Goner 2. Ditto, hello. Hello. How are you, the man? Echo is <laughs> How are you? Doing How are good. You all? Doing good. Very excited about this launch. It's it's been a, a long time coming, but but here it finally is. It just launched today. How does it feel? Uh, I, I was I I'm trying to figure out if I'm more confused or scared or excited, <laughs> but I think I'm somewhere somewhere in between that triangle of feelings and emotions. Understood. Game launches are, are, are scary. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. So it's a, good, it's a big day. Yeah. It is indeed. So for anyone who's unaware of what Goner is, would you like to, to give the quick the quick story of Goner and, and Goner two in particular? Hmm. The, yeah, okay, so Gunner 2 takes place exactly at the same time and after the first one, um, I think. But it's, in, in, because in the first game you are, you're, uh, you're trying to help Death uh, manage his uh, underground and you accidentally take over the place. Uh, and things went weird and sour, and I think you're repeating the story this time, but in a very different way. How do you accidentally but, take over a world, Ditto? That's not going to hold up in court. <laughs> it's the, it's some kind of, you know, you, you know the story about Oedipus? It's it's something something along those lines. It's like a kind of... A, uh, it's a kind of destiny that uh, fulfills itself, whether you want it or not, you know? I understand. And uh, the under, underworld is one of those worlds, yeah. <laughs> All right, fair enough, fair enough. And what are we doing in, in Goner 2? We're, we're repeating maybe the story. We don't really know. It's, it's a bit of a uh, an, an emotional journey, would you say? It's a bit of an emotional journey, for sure. Yeah. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. It's um, yeah. It's kind of it's kind of abstract, I think, for for all of us uh, uh, involved in it. Uh, you had yeah. Um, but I think you will figure it out and see see if it means something to you, you know? Okay, that's cool. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing what players make of the story and, and of the world. But uh, we are, we're diving into to some co-op here. So Rasmus and Timothy are going to be doing two-player co-op. We can actually play four players, but uh, we're just going to do two today, try to keep it a little bit simple, a little less chaotic for us for the stream. But uh, any advice for new players? Um, for new players, I think just try to have fun with it and, and try to um, uh, try to explore everything because that's the way the way Goner works is, is that it doesn't explain much at all and it relies on you to play with all the mechanics rather than um, having them uh, explained to you which is kind of funny because it feels like if you're playing multiplayer with someone who already knows the game then they will probably become your uh, your teacher of sorts or something so uh, ask as much as you need to your friend that is showing it to you or or as little as possible i don't know uh but the point is that you're you're exploring what's going on and, and seeing what works and what doesn't work uh, okay. and seeing if you can get to the end by doing that exciting and how difficult would you say goner 2 is like what are our odds here today are timothy and rasmus gonna make it Mm, probably not. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shots fired, folks! Shots fired. <laughs> so, so Rasmus, I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. It, was, mm, it it does get weirdly difficult sometimes. Okay. Mm, it definitely, it depends on how you. I think it depends on how you play together and how you, mm, how you communicate. <laughs> 
Gotcha. What's going on here? Like, Timothy, are you outside the screen here, or...? Yeah, I died. I'm back. You right. died. Rasmus yeah. has gone out without you. Okay, so, <laughs> Rasmus, you've played Gone or Two uh, yeah. roughly four million times. Is that is that correct? Uh, more or less, yeah. So what is your, your best pro tip for a new player? Oh, I mean, for a new player, I would actually, like... You have to come through kind of the realization that it's it's totally okay to die. <laughs> <laughs> because that's the only way you're gonna learn uh, okay. to do uh, to learn the mechanics of the game. Uh, it's gonna take a little while, but so you also have a really good time doing that. But uh, like some pro tips, like going in, like some uh, cool features that we have right here. If you Timothy. Yeah. You come over here and jump on my face like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you jump on my face, I will spawn some ammo for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Hold up. How does that work? <laughs> Ditto, I'm going to need an explanation to this. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is pure magic. <laughs> okay, pure, pure magic. magic. I love it. Well, well, that's Connor too, right? Pure magic. And who is our little friend here on the top right? Who is this? Uh... On the top right, oh, that's, uh, is that Granny? I think the, the stream is a little bit uh, lagging from our uh, talking, so everything right. is happening on the screen a minute after we're talking about it. But I think you're talking about Granny, aren't you? Oh, the yeah. three, three-eyed, uh, three-eyed uh, Muppet Death. <laughs> three-eyed Muppet Death. What, what's her story? What, what's she doing here? Uh, so she's taking care of you, like trying to guide you through this weird, confusing experience <laughs> um so she because she has this uh, she has this tree that she takes care of and she takes care of all the uh, all the weapons that you find in the uh, in the worlds and she's trying to like gently push you forward through the through the experience right um so i see her as some kind of uh, caretaking granny you know i think she's really really soft to hug <laughs> if you would hug her Lovely. So, so a bit of a mentor, a bit of a friend, someone to cheer you on when you die repeatedly and learn. Exactly. Like, and and like a big uh, soft uh, fur coat to hug, you know. Beautiful. Like a big bear. Is there a hug mechanic? Is there what? Is there a mechanic for hugging? Oh, no, there isn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to imagine it. That's, that's too bad. Now that you're mentioning, yeah, no, we should have had this conversation. A while ago. <laughs> so <that I> <laughs> okay, it's okay. Well, speaking of mechanics, do you want to talk a little bit about like how Goner Two actually works? What, what are the gameplay mechanics here? What is the situation with the levels? Are they uh, are they fixed levels? Are they generated? H how does it all work? Um, so none of the levels are static, of course, ex except for like the the shop and the the off levels. But when you're playing the game, everything is. Uh, Sort of procedurally generated. I, I uh, would call it like randomly generated. Um, so you have like a you have a general structure of the. There's four different worlds that you get served uh, in random order, and they are the levels themselves are randomized. Um, so you can go through the game any any way you want uh, through these four worlds. So you can like explore which world you you think maybe is the easiest to get through. Um, but then after you defeat each world, uh, you will get some stuff maybe that is chasing you around, uh, making things a little bit harder. So you need to like take that into account as well. Um, but yeah, it's it's all procedurally generated, so every level will be different every time you play the game, uh, always keeping you on your toes, which is um, part of the the difficulty kind of thing because like some of the levels will be pretty easy and i think that's really nice so that sometimes you get a little breather from from the difficulty um yeah if you're having a hard time but is it inherently designed to be difficult or or like as you know, rasmus mentioned you should get used to the idea of dying that's that's when you're gonna learn uh, is it the kind of game where you would expect most players to die quite a bit or is it are there ways to make yeah, it more okay. forgiving it's, it's a difficult game okay uh, it, uh, in comparison to the first one, I feel like this is a lot easier okay. in places, but it definitely has its uh, its places as well. As well, oh. but it, I feel like it's a. Um, if you ask me, but I, I think I'm biased, and I probably have a weird perspective on this game. Uh, but if you ask me, it feels like if you 
if you focus very well, this one is not as much about twitch uh, button pressing as much. Right. It's more like you can plan, you can plan your way and focus and uh, slowly get through a level if you if that's what you uh, what you want to do, you know. But it also racing through the levels and being really fast about it feels so much better though. <laughs> Excellent. That's how you feel. I'm good. Yeah. And is there is there friendly fire here? Because I'm noticing Rasmus just died. I don't know if that was intentional or <laughs> that, that wasn't friendly fire. That was not friendly fire. Okay, I've been told by uh, I've been told by the guy who didn't die that it was in fact not friendly fire. <laughs> Ditto. Would you like to comment? <laughs> <laughs> there is the option actually. There is there is the option to to put on friendly fire whenever you want. Oh, should we turn that on? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can turn it on, right? Rasmus doesn't trust me <laughs> <laughs> or himself. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I really like like one of the one of the things that really sticks out to me with Gunner is the um, the way the environments kind of pop in as you explore. It, it's such a, a gorgeous style. Like, when did that idea come up? Because that's something that's been true for for Gunner One and also for Gunner Two. Uh, but where did that idea come from, and how have you built this crazy thing? Uh, yeah, that it's funny. That's actually just like that's core to the whole. Uh, game in a lot of different ways. I think, honestly, looking back at it, uh, I think it's uh, inspired by Bastion to begin with, okay. uh, and how the, how the levels come in uh, in Bastion. But um, instead of staying there, I guess they they always come back and forth, you know, and, and disappear again. Mm. And I mean, it, it's it is a line of sight kind of thing, but it's uh, I think it looks so much more interesting like this. And the thing, so the funny thing is that when me and Martin met the sound designer of both Gunner One and Gunner Two, um, he he approached me and asked if he could make sounds for for the game, because the way the levels generate means he wouldn't have to make footstep sounds. Ah. And he doesn't like he doesn't like making footstep sounds. So he was like, <laughs> "Huh, I think I think if we if we put some cool sound effects on on the level being generated, I, I don't need to make footsteps. So I have a lot of ideas how to do that. Do you, do you want to work together?" And I said, "Yeah, that sounds stupid. Let's do it." <laughs> That's so funny. I, I never knew that. <laughs> so it's um, in a way it was the uh, it was the feature that started the collaboration. That that is this this whole, whole game's uh, backbone, you know? Lovely, <laughs> lovely. And um, speaking of Goner 1 and, and when the, the idea for the games originated, uh, when did you know that you wanted to make Goner? Like, when did that idea of this particular kind of game come to mind for the first time? Mm, you're talking about Goner 1? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, like, so I made a game called Hits about a year uh, before making Goner, I think. Um, which is like, it's like Goner Light or something. It's a super small version that is up on uh, itch.io. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when I started experimenting with Unity, I tried to like recreate something like it. because And especially because Unity is sort of known for being kind of difficult making 2d platformers that feel good uh, in it or at least it was back at the time mm. um, and so i wanted to challenge myself and see if i could make the impossible <laughs> <laughs> and then when i sort of could i think um i'm trying to be humble but when <laughs> when i when i got it feeling pretty good uh, i started with the level generating stuff and the walls coming in and that sort of from there it was just so fun to work on that it became like a full uh, thing kind of by itself and then Martin came on and, and it became a whole big thing. So it's To be honest, it was never really an idea. It's more been like a An organic kind of uh, It was harder not making this game than it was to make it if that makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah, I love that I like how you've uh, you've decided to make a game that was gonna be difficult to make and then you've made it difficult <laughs> for players to beat as well it's, it stays true. <laughs> stays true to the idea. And what are we looking at now? Because we got this uh, this little boss with three eyes, a, uh, a very exciting looking mouth, and some. Is are those limbs that are attached to the sides of the levels? Like I'm uh, I'm trying to interpret art here, and I think I might be failing. What's going on? Um, I think they're they're muscles. 
You know, I, I see his, I see this whole level as like the inside of a creature. Everything is sort of uh, made up of flesh, and this is so. This is just the face clipping through the skin from the inside. Oh. Also, just just a fun fact. Uh, I'm missing a tooth in my in my own mouth, in my real mouth. Mm -hmm. So that's why this boss's face reflects that. So he's actually me, um, trying to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Ditto, do, do you also have three eyes in real life, a, or is that a, a creative freedom? It's just a portrait. <laughs> um, the, the eye I had to add, to add for, for symmetry, I think. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> you take some freedom to the art. That's really funny, though. Uh, and it looks like the uh, the gents are struggling with this one. There's a lot of, uh, of, ah. a lot of blood. <laughs> <laughs> is it normal for tears to be streaming while you play the game, or is that...? <laughs> <laughs> so let, let me try to get his attention here. So, yeah, it's like, I'm wait a bit. so what's the strategy here? Like, how do we kill uh, kind of Ditto? <laughs> I mean, my strategy my, usually... My best... Oh, sorry, go ahead, Ditto. Was good. Okay. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I can just say my strategy usually... I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't shoot his uh, lasers at you if you don't shoot at him. So uh, usually my strategy is take it kind of easy and uh, not rush this boss fight. Okay. So it's, yeah, just try to take it really easy. Shoot when you have an opportune moment like this, and then just uh, run away. Try to dodge <laughs> as many bullets as you can. <laughs> Timothy, who is uh, the blue there, uh, what's happened to your head, man? I lost it. <laughs> you lost <laughs> it. I lost it. <laughs> you lost it. And yeah. it what, what about you? What's your strategy for, for killing, um, well, this guy? I was going to say, <laughs> no. you, you try to avoid the red stuff, okay. and you try to shoot him as much as you can. So don't get hit and kill him. Got it. That's uh, that's good. <laughs> we'll see if they manage. It looks like the health bar is, is getting pretty low here. So uh, that's positive. Usually what stresses me out during this boss fight is actually music. <laughs> it's mm. so eerie. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> keep dying. <laughs> I keep dying all the time. Are you it's pressing scary. the jump button? Is that what's happening? Yeah. You can actually <laughs> use the dodge to dodge through one of the attacks. Like, I Rasmus, you just that. ran into a bullet oh, while you were saying that. That was a horrible thing. I tried to explain how to dodge through the bullet, and I ran into the bullet. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh. Let's, let's, let's restart, and this time, friendly fire. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is I it feel like you need to tell is, it, is it active now? How do we turn it on? Go and see here. Oh, turn hang on. Fire. Hang on a second. Yeah, turn it on. And You didn't turn it on. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Turn it on. Now yes, on. yes. And now, go back one step. There's a little something there called high score. Mm -hmm, Let's mm -hmm. talk about that for a second. What is this uh, this leaderboard thing? How does it work? Looks a little bit empty today. Today it looks a bit empty. So is it a daily leaderboard or what are we looking at here? So it should be an online leaderboard here. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we are on the wrong branch or something like that. Oh we yes. Can, we can look into that afterwards. So. We are probably on the wrong build. I'm sorry about that. Let's close <laughs> this. This is fine. This is fine. It totally works on the real version. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I think we're playing one of the internal development builds, so that's that's on me. But the idea is that this is a leaderboard for, for what exactly? So it is the the total leaderboard that we have like online. So uh, it's, if you get a really good score, it will be post, posted here. Okay. And I mean, you have ranked one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to like 25, I think it is. So um, if you beat your own score, it will be updated. Someone else beats your score. They will take your spot. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Excellent. Are you changing colors now? Yeah. Oh, look at that. I want to be pink. So how do you, what do you do to change color here? Pink. I mean, I just jumped on it. Yeah, just jump on. Shout out to Nazman for having a score that is not abysmal. <laughs> At least he claims. <laughs> Ditto, uh, what are your predictions for the high scores? What kind of scores do you think players are going to reasonably be able to achieve here? Like, what's your challenge for the community? Oh, you kill me. Oh, dude, I'm <laughs> honestly just scared. Um, <laughs> the numbers. <laughs> you know, it doesn't it doesn't matter if if I say something something I think is really high, then uh, someone is going to beat that and minutes it feels like i'm i'm not a very very good player uh of the game myself so i always try to make it as hard as i can for myself uh, just to the point that i'm slightly uncomfortable playing it <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then um, mm, 
then that becomes like the standard <laughs> for what the game is. Well, what's your highest score, Ditto? Like, are you willing to say? No, I think I'll keep that. Too. Okay. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Fair <laughs> enough. So. This is not a. It's like, today is not about shaming, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Today is a day of celebration. You're absolutely correct. Yes. Absolutely correct. Speaking of which. We talked about Goner 1 a little bit, but when was it that you realized you wanted to make a sequel to Goner? And and what was what was your goal with this game? Mm, um, so, it is the time. It's like, it's almost two years ago that mm. we started working on this one. Um, and so after Goner 1, uh, I had this, uh, I had this uh, impossible project that I come back to very often in my life that I that I try to finish. It's like a game that I will probably never finish uh, in my life. And so I tried very hard for almost two years to get anywhere with that after Gone 1. Mm. Mm. And it made me very alone and very uh, sad and, and very demotivated. Uh, and uh, at some point I realized like this is uh, working on this thing alone drains everything that I thought was fun about making games like making games is really fun because you're making something with people that you care really a lot about yeah um and so uh, i reached out to to martin and Joel and asked uh, hey do you, do you guys want to make something together again and they did uh and we started talking about it and uh, the more we talked about it we realized like yeah we could we could probably make goner 2 together now um and that will be a really good excuse for us to hang out and make something cool together again. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> so it's just been like a friendship reunion kind of thing. And then hopefully something cool came out of that very selfish friendship. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, putting sense. the band back together is always a good idea. So that's mm. cool. See what happens if we jam together again. Yeah. yeah. And also, this time around, we brought uh, Inna Hansen as well okay. to the to the team. Uh, so she's been she uh, she's been drawing a lot of the environments and and the, and the fantastic logo and everything for the game. Uh, so she's been part of the band as well, which has been fantastic. Awesome. Having two guitar players is better than one. That, that was a really bad band joke, but yes, that is cool. And, and the environments look absolutely I know stunning. Some bands, <laughs> <laughs> but what was like? Um, so that was it. You, you just wanted to get together and, and build whatever came to your minds. Basically, there was no set objective with Goner Two per se. Is that fair to say? Mm, yeah, I think that's fair to say. It, it's more like um, we wanted to figure out the the fun in making stuff together again. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. And where did you end up? Like, what's different in Goner 2 compared to the first game? Mm, I think it's much looser. Um, like, in a... in a... try-hard kind of sense. Like, I think for the first game, my aim was to create something really difficult that only really, really hardcore players could ever get through. So you would have, like, most people were stuck in the first world of the game mm. and never really got that far. So I think we've, I think we've made, managed to make something that is a little bit more welcoming and a little bit more mm. to play for people that don't necessarily want to punish themselves because they play a game, <laughs> play a video game. That sounds nice. Mm. So it feels, to me, it feels a little bit more Super Mario than. Um, um, like a, a downwell or a, yeah, a spelunky maybe. Okay. Spelunky is probably a good comparison too, but you know, that's my guitar comparison. Gotcha. <laughs> that's good. It's funny, you know, it's, it's so funny that you're talking about how the game is easier and I'm watching Rasmus and uh, Timothy just like <laughs> cracking up because they're not on a friendly fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wanted a challenge, right? <laughs> I mean, my challenge for the two of you today is, is getting through the, the full thing with friendly fire. If we can do that, then I'm going to be impressed. 
But Ditto, I know you, we're running uh, short in time because you actually have to head out in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna ask you a pretty open question. Um, anything you want to say to to people watching at home or wherever they may be about Gone or Two? Anything you think they should be aware of? Fun facts or basically anything you, you'd like to say to them? Mm, I think like to begin with, just try to have fun with it and, and explore and see what the, um, see what you like about it rather than trying to. Uh, uh, like view view it as a toy rather than something to get through as quickly as possible, and and uh, try not to think about your score for a little while, you know, mm. and and enjoy the ride rather. Um, and uh, also say say hi to the big uh, weird guy when when you find him. He's he he loves you, and it's gonna be okay. Wait, what? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> okay, well, we're not going to comment anymore on that. I guess that's something for players to figure out. Say hi to the big weird guy. All right, all right. Uh, Rasmus, did you just kill Timothy? Yeah. Just, okay. He's yeah. done it like 20 times. He's done it 20 <laughs> you times. You killed me like 30 times. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. That's a good ratio. Yeah. Well, excellent. <laughs> Ditto, I, I want to thank you so much for, for being a part of this stream. And... Um, we're going to take a quick break. Then we're going to be back with Rasmus and Timothy continuing their attempt to beat Connor 2 with Friendly Fire on in two-player co-op. And uh, Timothy's just died. Timothy's just died again. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if we can get there. Ditto. Thank you so much for, for having me. And, and thank you to, to anyone both watching and uh, that is playing the game. Uh, I'm, I'm scared and excited for, for seeing how people both react to it and how they play it and, and if they like it at all <laughs> so thank you to everyone thank you so much thank you so much ditto we'll see you next time take it easy enjoy release day and we are going to be we will. right back after this message from our sponsors our sponsor today is goner 2 here we go Hey folks, okay. we are back with the Goner 2 launch stream featuring Rasmus, QA producer, legendary player of Goner 2, has never died a single time except recently when we just had him killed by Timothy 30 times, and also <laughs> Timothy Busby, QA producer, legendary, has died 20 times to Rasmus, but uh, never, least. never before, never before. So what we're going to do now, we just had a ditto the developer, he unfortunately had to run, but uh, we are going to keep playing a little bit of co-op Goner 2. Our goal is to try and get through the entire thing in two-player co-op with friendly fire on. Now, it ain't easy, okay? The friendly fire is tough, but uh, we're hoping that you can cheer us on. And we're gonna let me just boot up the game here, uh, make sure we have the right version. I'm just, I'm just double checking. I think we have the right version. Here we go. So this, in just a moment, is going to be Goner Two once again, once again. Let me just quickly fix things. There we go. All right, guys. Let's hop right in. Um, what are we going to do differently? What's our strategy this time? You, you've died a few times. I don't mean to rub it in. I think we need to take it slow. Yeah. Take it slow. Okay. Okay. But the thing is that if you take it a bit slow, you won't get the, um, the high score. Oh. But maybe that's fine for today. I mean, I just want to beat it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see that that thing that Ditto mentioned. Yeah. 
<laughs> There's some kind of gentleman who yeah. we can uh, speak with. And he loves us. He loves us. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Yeah. I had a lot of questions. Um, <laughs> comment from the chat here from Name Not Loading. Thanks for tuning in. That means speed run. This is the water level, right? I think the players want a speed run. The viewers, sorry. So this is the water level, huh? Yeah, this is the water level. You want to talk a little bit oh, about the water sorry. level while you try to survive at the same time? Are you a good multitasker, Rasmus? Uh, well, sometimes. He's a good when multitasker. I <laughs> when I want to. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on here? Where, where are we in yeah, the Donnerverse? So, I mean, we're always under the water here. So, I mean, the main difference here is that you're no longer running on the ground here. I mean, we are, we are, we are actually <laughs> swimming around. <laughs> There's a lot of scientific facts going on right yes, now. Yes, you need to pay attention. Yes. <laughs> So we're underwater. Yeah, How does that change water, things? I mean, it changes things. That, I mean, the bullets, first of all. I mm. mean, they're a bit slower. Uh, we have enemies like this crab person here, who um, the claw, instant instant death there, right there. Oh, wow. Uh, boxes, you shouldn't jump. On, I mean, you can't jump on the water. <laughs> so, I mean, you have, to, you have to dodge. <laughs> you have to do the, the dodge attack or the, the dash attack into the box to be able to open it. Okay. I mean, the dash, that, that, oh, another pro tip, dash. Out of ammo, just dash into your enemies. Into your enemies? Yeah. So so you can jump on the face of your allies to yep. obtain ammo, mm -hmm. of course, and you can also dash into your enemies <laughs> and they'll drop ammo. Gotcha. No, they won't, they won't drop ammo. They will do a slight a slight bit of damage on them. Oh, so if, if, you're, okay. if you're out of ammo, it's always good. Like if you're like in a tight spot, you need to get out, just dodge or dash. Mm. Do a nice dash. Gotcha. Oh, sorry. So it's more of a last resort than a strategy you might want to yeah. employ, or, or yeah. I mean, you can always like the dash. Very good at dodging some bullets when they're almost about to hit you. <gasps> oh, that was my bad. Sorry. Yeah. Should have dashed, Rasmus. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> so who's who, by the way? Uh, Timothy, you're I'm the blue. blue, blue. Gotcha. Yeah. Rasmus green. is the green. Dabadi. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the green Dabadi. <laughs> Excellent. So, folks watching at home, if you have any questions for the uh, the Gone or Two experts here, drop them in the chat. We're watching both on Steam and on Twitch. We'll do our best to answer any questions that may come up. And we also have Candy Alien in the chat, who is Susie, the brand manager for Gone or Two, also an expert. So we are, there, I guess there's several people reasonably qualified to ask most of the questions you can send our way. But the most pressing question, Rasmus, hmm. this is for you. Yeah. Where can people buy Gone or Two? Oh, let me tell you. So, the price point right now for release that is today is twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine, people. And, and uh, you can acquire your game over at Steam. G O G. That is good old games. We have the Xbox One, Windows Ten. Oh, that what is, is that? Game What's Pass. Happening? <laughs> oh my God! What is that? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh god, okay, we're, uh, we almost died. Oh, we did die. I did die. So. Swear where we? Xbox! <laughs> <laughs> so we have Steam, we have GOG, we have Xbox One, we have Windows 10, and they also have Nintendo Switch. And for the um, Xbox One and Windows 10, uh, of course we are on Game Pass, so you don't have to be even buy the game there. Just subscribe and you're there. Just like that, people. Yeah. Uh, you've both died again. Yeah. Yeah. It was I the mean, bat's fault. Yeah, it was the bat's fault. Can we get the bat on screen, please? Can we uh, get the guilty party on screen? We're just gonna... <laughs> I just want to talk to this guy. Hey, Mr. guy. Mr. Bat, what's your problem? What's... Uh, he's upside down. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Oh, sh don't, don't. Take it. Get rid of it, Timothy. Get, get rid of it. <laughs> All right, back to gameplay. <laughs> back to gameplay. <laughs> Still going, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh okay. my god. He's done, he's done. Should we turn off friendly fire? What do you think? Let's turn off friendly fire. Let's, it's just clearly... Uh, sure, okay, okay, let, clearly let, let, you're not it. as good as, as I was hoping. Whoa. Oh, it was off! It was, no, it wasn't off. It was off. We're going to do a quick replay of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do, let's do it like this now. Now yeah. it's off. Let's it's turn off. it off. Now it's off. 100%. Is there anything else here worth, uh, worth turning on, by the way? Uh, I mean, we have some pretty cool options in here. I, I, li mean, I like uh, the options. Yeah, the options are pretty <laughs> nice. I mean, uh, we have text size, so you can make it... Oh, yeah, that's very cool. ...really big text. Which is awesome, actually. Oh, you're getting scores on my account, actually. I just realized. That's really good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have display how you can turn on and off. You can show it in the text. Oh, you want to turn that off one time. I just want to see how, mm -hmm. what it looks like. 
Oh, so, yeah. that's very cool. So if you're on, we should try more immersive play like this. gameplay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's play like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I like that you can flip the shoot and dash buttons as well. Yeah, you can okay. flip the shoot and dash buttons. And I mean, a pretty cool thing, especially if you're playing with a gamepad, is that I mean, there are two ways of actually playing the game. You can do it a bit more old school. You can use the X, or this is an Xbox One controller I'm using right now, but mm -hmm. you can use the X and for shooting, A for jumping, and B for doing the dash. Mm. Or you can use the actual the bumpers. To, all, to, oh. to do all of this. So you can actually play it as a twin stick shooter. You can aim with this one, the joystick, and then shoot and dash on these ones. That's really jump. cool. Yeah. So, so you basically have these seamless two different control schemes at your disposal at any yeah. time? Yeah, at the end of time. It won't yeah. save you, because <laughs> no. you will die. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's good to have. Every tool at your disposal is helpful. And Nick Sticks asks, Batman, is that you? I think the answer is no. This uh, this bat was not as cool as Batman. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? <laughs> All right, gentlemen, we are jumping in. This is not a water level. This is the flower level, I believe. What is this place? Is this like some sort of yeah, like so hub? Yeah, this is your hub. Like you choose which level to do here. So you have oh. the you have the little uh, demon world here, and then uh, you can choose from. This is the the fish world, the world, water world. Oh, you, yeah, you see that. Yeah, from the enemies. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That's very cool. Let's do... I mean, we did the, the water level. Yeah, yeah we can but hold try up. to this, this one again. What happens... I'm not trying to say that... I'm not encouraging trolling co-op players, okay? <laughs> Just to be clear. I'm no way encouraging this. But what happens if you go one to the left Ooh. and one to the right? <laughs> we can try. Is, is it possible? Yeah, it's possible. I think you will take the water world, actually. Yeah, yeah because the camera... Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, so it follows one of the players. Yeah, gotcha. Just we curious. the last one. And I mean, but friendly fire is off now, right? Yeah, it should be. Yeah, it's <laughs> off. Allegedly. <laughs> I ask that as I shoot Rasmus. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect time to ask. <laughs> oh. Uh, another cool thing with the, that level select world we just saw is that, I mean, there are more levels than those two. Mm -hmm. But they will, they will be random depending on, like, yeah, which play you're doing. So sometimes you will get the water world and the little demon world. Otherwise, you will get the, the paranormal world. Okay. Or, yeah. So, so every run is going to be a little bit unique. And, yeah. and would you say that is there a, a certain strategy? Is there like, if you have the chance to take the water world early, for example, is it worth getting it early? Is it going to be more difficult if you get it later? What's the deal there? I mean, I think it's a. F it comes down to preference. Okay. But usually, how I play is that I know some levels are my, um, not my strongest. Mm. Uh, I'm not my, at my best game there. Like like this one, for example. I usually struggle a little bit with this one. So usually I try to take this as early as possible. Mm. Because we haven't seen this yet. So I'm not sure if we want to spoil anything. But okay. um, I might spoil it a little bit. So <laughs> <laughs> spoil a little bit. Just spoil spoil a little okay, bit. so spoiler alert. Yeah. Anyone who doesn't want to hear a spoiler, I shut mean, your ears. It, we are hopefully going to reach a boss at this run. So oh. we're going to see what happens after we defeat the boss. I'm taking but it really slow. Yeah, take it really slow, nice, right. and we're gonna see what happens when we do the Playing gun or two, so close. smooth. I'm dying right there. Deep so breaths. Smooth. Take it easy. Yeah. You're in the water. I mean, playing gun or two is a bit like listening to jazz, or playing jazz, as I imagine Ooh. it. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's like you have to go with the flow a little bit, improvise when needed. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. There's a lot about. of, uh, <laughs> a lot of, <laughs> a lot of band it. jokes today. So, <laughs> we got a question from the chat here from Arcagno. Ar Arcanio, I, like I'm butchering your name, I'm sure, I'm sorry, but it's a cool name. How can a Switch owner buy the soundtrack? Is that available on Switch? Uh, I will let Susie uh, answer that in the chat, if possible. Yeah, can we get maybe Candy Alien or, or Nikola Yevska, if, if either of you are watching, could you answer this question? How can a Switch owner... Arcagno, thank you, got it. <laughs> how, can, how can a Switch owner buy the soundtrack? If anyone has the answer, please uh, put it in the chat there. Because I believe that Switch doesn't have any built-in support for soundtracks, so it may be that you have to pick it up elsewhere. This is what I'm thinking as well. I'm not 100% sure. Gotcha. But I mean, I encourage getting the soundtrack because it's it's hella good. <laughs> it, it's hella good. Yeah. That's really true. My favorite track is actually the one we played at the intro there. Yeah, that's amazing. Really, really nice. Sometimes you yeah, start the game, sit in the title screen. Yeah. And listen to the soundtrack. <laughs> just go like, why play when you can just enjoy? Just breathe, take it easy. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. 
Uh, Nixtix is saying, I just launched the game and I'm addicted to just yeeting myself into the walls. <laughs> Good feel. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, Nixtix. It really that is. Awesome. Is there a, 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 actually like a... Um, oh, those crabs are just mesmerizing, aren't they? Is there a strategic benefit to yeeting yourself into the walls? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Rasmus is not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we, we, we do have a, an answer to the soundtrack question. You can buy it either on Steam, but it's also going to be on Bandcamp quite soon. So there, there will be options for the Switch players out there to get your hands on this banging soundtrack. Thank you. Thank you so much for asking, and thanks for your support. Now, what happens if one of you goes into the, uh, the worm there? Is that the technical term for this, worm? It's a world snake. World snake. My yes. bad, my bad. Easy mistake to make, I would argue. Sweet uh, Norse mythology. Sweet, sweet North mythology. I mean, I, there... I heard the term llama cat. Being llama cat. <laughs> I mean, I guess it works as well. Oh, llama cat. He spits and he meows. <laughs> what a <laughs> combination. So how many, uh, how many of these levels are there per world? If we go into the water world, essentially, like how many sub-levels are we going to play? Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Oh, distracting you guys try, with difficult questions. Let me try questions. to get these. Oh, take the ammo there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, how many worlds? Uh, levels, I would say, in each world. Uh, mm. It depends a little bit. Um, actually, um, it's usually around three uh, that you have to play through. Uh, depending, though, if you start maximizing up your score, you will get additional level. Just to keep that flow going, so to say. So that's how it works. Okay. And, uh, and in terms of worlds, like how many worlds are you going to see in a run? You're going to see... Uh, well, depending if you survive, of course. Uh, you're going to see three worlds. Three, three worlds in a yeah. run. Yeah. Okay. So you were missing out one world. So there's that sense of replaying as well. So I'm sorry I died, Tim. No, that's okay. Don't apologize for dying, Rasmus. <laughs> it's, it's an opportunity to learn. That's what I've been told. Are you so when you die? Are, are you actually like a tadpoling around? Are you, you still alive, kind of, but not really? Yeah, sort of. You need to go back to the. Uh, I guess that I guess that you can just spawn. Yeah. But the camera won't like go back to you, so you don't really know what you're doing. Okay. Okay. It's, it comes down to like some good old communication. I would yeah, say. exactly. So yeah. if if I die, Rasmus needs to go back to the starting point to. Make it easier for me to get back. Do you want to get this guy gotcha. for me so I can yeah, get yeah. some ammo? <laughs> <laughs> but this is thank teamwork you. right here. This is teamwork. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So oh, no, another, no, no these, I need these, ammo. These one. Here, here, here. <laughs> There's a lot of ammo there. So another question from the chat here. Quest to Elysium. You know, speaking of the soundtrack, did the devs and composer ever think about releasing a vinyl soundtrack bundle of the first and second Ooh. game? I mean, that is a good idea. That would have been awesome. Vinyl bundle. We're, we're going to talk about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass that on to some people who can uh, make clever decisions. Thanks for the suggestion. Apparently, uh, there's a cat in the game. I'm hearing uh, rumors in the chat here. Does anyone want to talk about the cat? I really didn't see it before, but you can see it in the in the store level that is in between uh, before the boss fight. We have a little cat there. No microtransactions, though, right? <laughs> Meow. All right. <laughs> You'll know it when you see it. Ha ha. Says up and left. All right. All right. <laughs> So how are you feeling about the water world here? Are we uh, are we looking good for completion? Uh, I think so. It's tough because we turn off the HUD, so we can't actually yeah, see how much health uh, these guys have. I lost my head, so. Oh no. Uh, sometimes you can actually find a head again in the levels. Okay. So there will be a they will spawn on a small pedestal. You can go and pick them up again. But Is there uh, some kind of difference between heads, or are they all the same? Or oh, I didn't talk about that. Mm. There are several heads in the game, actually. So the one we to start with is just called the skull. Mm -hmm. So if we give you, I think it's three health, uh, if I remember correctly. And but then we have a, a broad selection of different skulls you can find around the levels. So they are usually hidden in like those. We saw those blue chests before. Mm. They are actually purple chests that are hidden in the levels. So you need to like break a wall or something like that you will get to these chests so they will those items you found in those chests then they will then be saved in the in the tree in the death's ladder okay so we have several different heads there we have the the gravity head makes you flip gravity you can walk around in the ceiling we have the um, 
the ammo head, make a little bit 50% more ammo, I think it has. Okay. Um, the gun head shoots double as much bullets. There are many, many heads. And also many, many weapons. We're using the rifle and the shotgun here. Right. Um, but you have you have a flamethrower, you have a baseball bat. I'm not gonna spoil too much. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> that, that's really cool. I mean, I just, I love the sentence. There is a broad, a wide range of skulls that you can... <laughs> <laughs> It's a, a slightly terrifying uh, uh, idea. Where are we now? What is this, this little stage? Yeah, so this is a little shop. Here you can uh -huh. uh, stock up, you can buy some more health if you need it. Buy a new skull like I just did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, of, of course, we have this uh, kind of upgrades, or power-ups, we might call them. Mm. Uh, you can find these also scattered through the levels in those little blue chests. Uh, but you can also buy them here in the shop. So, um, yeah, for example, this one. Uh, see if I have enough. Uh, yeah, oh, this one's the cat. Buy. So this one makes you all the enemies <laughs> go boom. When you Don't jump on the cat, Timothy. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> That's awesome. So, so they make your enemies go boom. Yeah. Uh, question from Undercover Jack. Hey there, just joined the stream. Goner was one of the first few games that I purchased for my Switch. How would you say Goner 2 compares to the first? And, and first of all, Undercover Jack, thank you so much. Appreciate you tuning in and, and for uh, being a long-term fan of the series. How would we say that Goner 2 compares to Goner 1? I mean, there are the new levels. Uh, I think some of them, the, some of the themes were in the first game as well. But I mean, now you have the, the paranoid world, you have the, the, the robot world. I think the demon world was in the first one as well. And of course, the water world that we're playing right now and you as well. But I mean, the single biggest addition is the co-op. I mean, we are playing two-player co-op now, but you can play up to four-player local co-op. Mm. Uh, I believe you can also use the Steam feature to play together kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, Steam yeah. has the remote play kind of thing, so you can actually tune in with your friends, and which is very useful for, for a time like this. Uh, it works pretty well. We, we've tried it out on, on like, even across different countries. So yeah. give that a go. But... Um, I guess the general fluidity as well is very different. The way that you aim now, you have a lot more control of your aim. You know, you mentioned yeah. you can play, you can play Goner 2 almost like a twin stick shooter in a way, where you yeah, can aim exactly. a little bit all over the place instead of just shooting forward like you did in Goner 1. Correct me if I'm wrong here, by the way. That's correct, isn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it takes a lot of like good stuff from Goner 1, but makes it a bit more, more fluid, easier to grasp. E like, like Dipper said, like the, um, uh, how fast you can play through a level is increased. I mean, you, Sometimes I get into a flow and things just happening and I never have to stop. I just keep jumping, keep shooting, going forward. So I think, yeah. Okay. You shouldn't... Um, you can still you can still play it like Goner 1, but I, I would suggest to just try to go wild on it. Speaking of going wild, you just killed the whoa, octopus! Whoa, whoa. That was a really cool boss fight. Mm -hmm. Y'all were like... So solid there. No no problems. Question from OnCode. Oh, oh. Hello, OnCode. <laughs> How you doing? Naive question. How can you scientifically explain that octopuses, octopi, shot fire from their butt? <laughs> well, it's funny you ask, because we have actually based this entire boss fight on a scientific paper from the University of Made Up Land, and it's because <laughs> it's magic. Okay, it's, it's magic. That's, uh, that's what this is. Now, thanks for asking, by the way. Is this... Oh, this is the guy that loves Is this me. the guy? <laughs> Because Ditto mentioned the guy, the big guy. This is the guy. So many hearts. He loves me. <laughs> oh. Timothy, can I just ask you something? It's a personal question. But yeah. when somebody tells them, tells you that they love you, do you normally hop on their head like that? Sometimes. On occasion, he's, I mean, he's been known to head jump. Okay, okay. I'm not going to judge. No, it's a, it's a personal question. So is this uh, is this the stage between worlds essentially? Are we just like being told how amazing we are and, and yeah. being encouraged to continue going? Take it easy for a while. Okay. Regain some hearts. Talk with this dude. Yeah. Yeah. Who is this? Do we have a name for for dude? We don't have a name for the dude. Yeah. Is it Ditto? Does chat want to name the dude? <laughs> chat any any name suggestions? This is your oh, chance okay. to name the dude and uh, honor. Oh, it went, oh. Who's this? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, he loves me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable. Get a world, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. my god! What was that? So here is the thing I was almost spoiling a little bit before. Oh. So now we've defeated the boss. Now we actually have this eye. Ooh. So uh, I think you, maybe you can um, figure this out yourselves. But yeah, we have one eye in this hand here, and uh, there's another uh, hand up here, and another one here. <laughs> so, and there's a door here. So uh, yeah. 
but we can't. It's locked at the moment, so yeah. I'll be honest. Uh, something's something's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe there's something <laughs> something here. <laughs> Let's find it out. Uh, Undercover Jack says, "Very cool. Happy to hear about all the new stuff. I plan on grabbing one or two soon. I pretty much buy all the stuff that Raw Fury publishes lately. Lol. Undercover Jack, you rock." You rock. <laughs> Thanks so much. That's too kind of you. I uh, really hope you enjoy going or two. Can't wait to hear your feedback. Up and left suggests Freddy as a name for a uh, for guy. So yeah, it's a good one. Freddy, Freddy's a good I one. like Freddy. So as you can see now, we have this eye with us. Yeah, it's kind of freaking me out a bit. Yeah, that's what he's supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that too. Hi. I well, see what you did there. You got puns. Are you supposed to shoot the eye, or, or what's going on? So if um, if you don't shoot the eye, he will fly into you, and you will take damage. Oh really? Yes. So, but if you shoot <laughs> if you shoot him, he will uh, stay quiet for I think it's around like ten seconds. <laughs> Shut up, Jack. <laughs> he will stay quiet. I don't know. <laughs> Silence. Oh, he's, he's like, actually. Oh, look at me. So he's gonna follow you for the rest of the game. Yeah. Oh, so this wow. is the like here. Now, right now, is where, the, where the right yeah. where I spawn. Kind of <laughs> spawn camp. <laughs> oh, no. So here's where the difficulty like comes in for real. I mean, that that was one boss. But that one appeared when we defeated the boss, right? Yeah. So if we defeat another boss, will there be? There will be another eye. Oh my god! So there were two eyes following us for the rest oh, of the game. That's very cool. I, mean, I love the colors in this game. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, I... oh, what? Yeah, exactly. Oh. My stuff, my head. <laughs> my head, don't <laughs> lose your head. Where's your head at? <laughs> oh. Ah. oh, wait, sorry, wait for me. I feel like this is the definitely the best run so far, but uh, what are we thinking here? Is this eye gonna be a problem in the long run? Uh, Maybe. I mean, it is a little bit diff more difficult for us as well because we are playing two-player co-op. So the enemy's health will increase a little bit the more players you have. Is Just there any benefit to playing several players? Well, of course, you have more fun. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, folks. But, but essentially, you have two guns as well, so yeah. <clears throat> more damage, right? It's actually pretty, pretty amazing to see four players just focus firing on, like, one enemy. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. Okay. I lost my head again. Uh, Where's it at? Yeah, I think you actually ran out of health, so that means. Oh, okay, yeah. So I only have one. Yeah, but let's point just left. Okay. Check down here. I think. Yeah, there's a secret here. Oh really? Yeah. There's a secret. Oh, oh, sorry. You gotta yeet into the walls. That's what we've learned. Yeet, yeet. Oh, 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 oh! Purple chest. So that's a chest. Yeah. Looks unhappy. Yeah, we have to make it happy. How do you, do you make, make a chest happy? unhappy? Happy, I mean. Jump on its face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rasmus, your definition of happy is very different from uh, the standard definition of happy. Uh. <laughs> but you acquired some ammo there, is that what happened? Yeah, and oh. we also got, uh, I think we got, yeah, you got a new head. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, what kind of head have you got? So you have a gun head right now. So I try, try <laughs> shooting at it. <laughs> Timothy! <laughs> to just think about it. You see? Oh, yeah, so it's like a double shot. shot. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very cool. Wow. That's awesome. Okay, so we need to get out of here. He's got no ammo left now because he's just uh, he's super excited. Oh, 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 oh! oh. Got <laughs> I love that. With the technical term? <laughs> What head does he have? Yeah, the yeah, gun yeah. head! <laughs> next level, here we go. Okay, oh, there's a, a weapon over there, right? It's a Where? weapon on the uh, in the next area. Oh, you saw it? Yeah, I saw a little, little white pistol, I think. Could be one of those um, uh, pedestals, yeah. yeah. Oh, there it is. It's yeah, the gun head, it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> I died. I took the gun head, oh, oh I'm running away. Oh, no, he's jumped into the eye! I lost my gun head. I Timothy's dying! Gun. Yeah, I'm dead. Fine. I'm dead. It's fine. Is there a defibrillator or something like that? Can you save your friend? Uh, he can save himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's so rude. <laughs> Co-op. It's more fun. Uh, okay, cool. I'll okay. get back. I need my head again. Yeah, let's hope that we can find a new head somewhere. Otherwise... But my gun head. Uh, it's gone. Uh, is it destroyed? It, yeah. You, um, you broke it. You broke it, man. I broke my head. Would you say the head is gun? It's gun. My head is gun. <laughs> I died again, sorry. It's no worries. Don't apologize for dying. Apologize for failing. 
<laughs> Isn't it the same thing? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Okay, I lost my head now as well. So okay, I, I, I actually picked up your head. I'm sorry. Uh oh, Timothy <laughs> stole his bullet. <laughs> Let the record show that Timothy has stolen Rasmus' head. Oh, I died again. Look at that. You can grab your head. No, I'll take it. You can grab your. <laughs> I'm pretty good at this game. Sometimes. What what what's oh. going on here? Like, wh why are we stuck here? Wh yeah. Why aren't we uh, progressing? I feel like. Uh, okay, we just need to progress here. Okay. We just need to progress. <laughs> I'm just curious. Like, I, I don't mean to oh. judge. I was. Uh, I'm genuinely curious if there was a strategy to, to sticking around in that area. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no strategy need, here, folks. Ammo. Nice one. Teamwork. <clears throat> Beautiful. So what is this level? Yeah. So. Depending on how well you did, you're gonna get more coins here. So we didn't do uh, that great, great actually. So we just got a few <laughs> coins. <laughs> Please, somebody clip that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> what do you um, what do you spend the coins on? So you spend them in the shop world on on different yeah. heads and guns, right? Yeah. Okay. And this is and another world thing you can actually spend the coins are that if you die like you are you're supposed to like lose you're defeated you get your high score and stuff like that you can actually you have a moment where you can actually try to respawn by using coins ah. so you, can, you have to spam click your jump button to be able to respawn basically if you have enough okay, coins. okay good pro tip so Gunner 2 is, is filled with basically little secrets for you to, to figure out, even down to things like changing colors in co-op. Well, you gotta know you? how to do it. You uh, have to pay for it. I think it had an uh, upgrade that makes items oh, free. Man, that's shenanigans. That is rude. <laughs> that is some shenanigans. Can, are you able to buy something for your teammate and, and hand it over somehow? Uh, yes. Uh, the handing over process is a bit like you have to buy it and then run away. <laughs> Are you talking about theft? <laughs> <laughs> no, you actually buy it. You have your friend standing in that same place. So that item goes to your friend yeah. instead. Oh, okay. Right, so yeah, because it flies up in the yeah, air and then it flies it up in the air. It tries to follow you. And stuff like that. So. Pick up some hearts for me. That's cool. Yeah, we actually don't have any heads. So there's no use to buying any hearts. Uh, but so, if we pick up a head, yeah. we'll get the hearts. Though. Yes, yeah. you get full hearts too. That's very true. So if we have no heads, it's um, and it's a boss fight. Yeah, and it's a boss fight. A crazy flamenco bird guy. Yeah. Some kind of bird. What? I love that. It's so, so cool. Ah! Ah! I'm just like mesmerized by what's going on right here. He's trying to kiss you, or. He just likes it. Oh, the stretching neck. <laughs> <laughs> the backwards walk. I died. Oh, it's coming to me instead. <laughs> and the fact that he Do we smiled. have unlimited health? Uh, on no. The bus <laughs> <laughs> I asked. Do we have unlimited health? <laughs> All of you <laughs> died again. <laughs> Amazing. Let's do, um, let's do one more attempt here. Mm. I think we can do one more attempt. Yeah. But with friendly fire on. <laughs> okay, sure, we can try. Oh. Okay, so we unlocked the gun head. Is it always here now? Yeah, it's always here now. So now oh. it's saved. So okay. all the strings you'll collect heads on them. Yep. Yeah. So heads here, heads go on the tree, and then your weapons that you unlock will end up the here. Gunhead. You know the high score is working now because we, I think we were on the wrong yeah. version. I don't know if we fixed that. Should we try? Yeah. yeah let's. Yeah. I'm just curious let's to hope. see. Let's hope. Oh no, okay, no. I guess we're still on the, the wrong version. That's my bad. I thought we fixed that. Anyway, let's give this one more go. Yeah. One more go. Final attempt. Timothy Rasmus, October 22nd, aka release day of Gone or 2, aka the day that we attempt once more for the final time. Connor to two player co op with friendly fire and HUD off. This is, Ooh, I think this is probably this the most challenging experience you can have in Gone or 2. <laughs> and I don't mean that as a slight to either Timothy or Rasmus, they're both great players. Wait a minute. What happened there? Yeah, I uh, accidentally... Um... You don't have a head now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's is not a good start, is it? it on? Yeah, friend of fire. Oh, song, that's shit. Why. Oh, sorry. Are you able to turn that off whenever you like, or is that a uh, before you start the round kind of thing? Uh, you should be able to turn it off whenever you want. Okay. Are you dead? Oh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> that went well. <laughs> like a half a minute. <laughs> 
Can you? Oh, oh, sorry. That's no worries. Now I can have my guns back. It's actually um, another pro tip. So if you feel like you're in a pinch, you can't get out of, just drop everything and do like this. <laughs> Ooh, which button is that? Why? So yeah. yeah. What's that? What are you doing there? So you throw away your gear, but if you click one more time, you turn into this teardrop form. And mm -hmm. uh, nothing can see you, nothing can hurt you. Oh. oh. But what's the risk there? Like, are you able to maybe lose your things or...? Yeah, I mean, you can't do any damage or anything like that, so... Mm. Okay. This will oh! be very hard to... Damn <laughs> 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 No! <laughs> you just got after him. This is... This is peak... I'm doing some parkouring. <laughs> peak co-op gameplay right here. <laughs> So when you die, by the way, we haven't talked about that at all. You, you respawn at the beginning of the level, but you lose your stuff. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you're playing co-op, if you do the same thing, if you're playing single player, then it's game over. If you don't have, uh, if you have enough coins, you can get back. So it's easier in co-op. Yeah. So yeah, you have no easier. excuses for your deaths. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the move. Where, where, where are you guys going? What's going on? I don't feel like you're taking this run seriously. We, we need to uh, <laughs> we need to uh, rethink our strategy. Go back to Death Slayer. Okay, let's do this. This is a restart. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Final, okay. final run number two. Final version three. I actually keep in the head. I think. Yeah. Folks, yeah. if you're watching the stream, if, if you're unsure what's going on, this is Goner Two, launch stream, celebrating the uh, the launch of Goner Two on PC. On what else? Where are we live, Rasmus? We're live on Steam. GUG, that's good old games. Xbox One, Windows 10. So X, uh, Xbox One, Windows 10, that's on Game Pass as well. And then we also have Nintendo Switch. There you yeah. have it. So that's a lot of platforms. I think I got all of them. <laughs> I think I think you did. Everything day one. Wonderful. Is is Gunner 2, um, is it going to be playable on the next gen consoles as well? What's the deal there? Uh, yes, it will be. Uh, I'm not sure if I can talk about dates. We have to talk about that. That's that's okay. But yeah, just you know. Yeah, but it will be available on the next gen consoles as well. Lovely, lovely. Oh, I'm so sorry, Timothy. I mean, <laughs> you just you. That was rough. <laughs> I mean, if you find yourself like saying this game is way too easy, try co-op with Friendly Fire. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, don't come telling us the game's too easy until you've done four-player co-op with friendly fire on. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with these guys. But yeah, yeah. Okay. It's really difficult. It's a tough game. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, well, we talked about this. You know, Ditto mentioned earlier when he was uh, on the stream that Goner One was probably more difficult in a lot of ways than Goner Two is. But Goner Two has its moments, and they should not be underestimated. Still, still definitely a challenging game. To what world are we in uh, right now? What world is Rasmus in right now? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is, I actually don't really know the. It doesn't really have a proper name this world, but I call it the the demon world. The demon world. We got these little, uh, these creepy little guys, and faceless, whatever's. They're flying things. They're very casual about their deaths. I mean, they're killings. I mean, they're murders. <laughs> Just walking against you. Oh, 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 that's nice. Yeah. That was... That was a dash attack. That was a dash attack. A attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, clear. <laughs> I just walked into you. I just walked into you. Oh no. Okay, I'm back again. No more friendly fire, <laughs> guys. Stop killing each other. There's no PvP, right? Uh, Officially. Uh, Officially. Officially. Yeah. <laughs> there, is, there is, however, a small like uh, room in the Death Slayer where you can jump in and you can have some fun PvP. Uh, arena shooting kind of thing oh. it's uh, just a smaller room but uh, if you want to train or do something like that have fun with your friends should we give that a go because I, I feel sure. like uh, we're not gonna, we're not going to beat the game today we, we are <laughs> running out of time we've got about five maybe ten minutes more how about you show us this uh, this little training area yeah and if anyone has any final questions on chat either on steam or on twitch drop them now or forever wait until the next time we stream gunner 2 or, you know, reach out to us on social media, etc. We're very available humans, honestly.
Is this the area you were talking about? Yeah, it's just a small room. You can try out. Okay, yeah. can we do... I want I want the both of you to stand next to each other in the middle of the level, okay? Timothy, don't... No shooting! No shooting! <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> stand next to each other. And I want you to turn your backs on each other, right? And then we're gonna... I'm gonna count to three, and you're gonna walk in opposite directions. Mm -hmm. And then... <laughs> No shooting yet! <laughs> I didn't shoot, I didn't shoot. I just walked. I don't, believe, I don't believe any of that. Okay, so, okay. Backs against each other. Now, I want you all to walk towards the walls on each end. Now. And stop. And now turn around and wait. And I'm gonna count to three and then you're gonna start fighting, okay? <laughs> One. Two. two. Three! <laughs> on the left side we have blue, it's Timothy. On the right side we have the pink Rasmus. One of them is down, he's lost his hands, he's lost his gun, he's running to the gun, he's gonna die again! Oh no, it's a massacre! <laughs> Look at that. One point for the pink. Who's the pink, by the way? Uh, that, that's me. It's Rasmus. Rasmus has died as well, it's 1-1. One, one. The score is 1-1, one, one, people. The unexpected PvP mode of God of 2. <laughs> Timothy wins! Yeah, Timothy I won. wins! <laughs> I did it. Look at that. Ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good stage to practice your skills, practice the, the mechanics, and to kill your friends. Very, very cool. Alright guys, well, well I think we're gonna, we're gonna start wrapping up there. Uh, oh, Kanye Elias just said, yo! Yo man, how's it going? You've just tuned into the end of the stream, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Rasmus and Timothy, any any final tips for, for folks who might be diving into Goner 2 for the first time, or, or any final words for, for our viewers today? Have patience. Have, have fun. Yeah, have fun. It's gonna be okay. And try again and again and again and again and again. And we love you. We love you. We love you, people. Thank you so much for tuning into the Goner 2 launch stream. Until next time, this is our sponsors, Goner 2. Thank you to Rasmus, to Timothy, and to Ditto for all joining in. And thank you, Liam. Thank you. No, thank you. No, 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 no. Thank you. Ha 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 ha!